Hey everyone, before this video gets started, if you're an Uber driver, a Lyft driver, really any major gig economy worker, and you wanna get paid for benefits, sick time, and a whole bunch of other stuff, then click the link below to sign up for Cover. Cover is an incredible, incredible service that's basically being the missing link for Uber drivers and Lyft drivers that we've been looking for for a super long time. If you get into an accident, or you get hospitalized, God forbid, or just you need a sick day, Cover will actually replace 80% of that income. So click the link down below and get 30 days free on us right now. Now let's get started on this video. What's going on everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Ride Share Hub. My name's Greg. Hope you guys are all doing good and staying safe out there. Um, I'm actually sharing a story with you guys today from one of our listeners who has a crazy deactivation story. Um, and I wanted to share this story because I wanted to explain to you guys how in a circumstance like this, having cover would really help. Um, I believe from, un if I'm understanding this story correctly, this guy has reached out to cover and he's waiting to, you know, see what happens. So, um, obviously I'm sure they're going to take care of him and we're really hoping for that. So, uh, you know, he is doing the right thing, but this, this story is a really, really good example of why you need cover. I don't want to like start telling you, telling you yet, but he got deactivated after 13,000 trips, had a 4.97 rating. This dude's a freaking veteran. That's like twice as many rides I've given. So I'm guessing he's driven twice as long as I have. I've been active for four years. He's probably been active since 2012. So a lot of his issue has come with uh, Checker and them not being like existent right now because of everything going on. And so he's had a lot of problems for whatever reason with Checker. So let's dive right into the story. And I want you guys to keep in mind this whole time we're talking about this, how Cover would have easily taken, or and probably will take care of him in this scenario. But if this were you and this had happened a year ago, this is a scenario where you would have wanted covert, right? So this is our good friend Juan. I was deactivated. 13,000 trips, 4.97 rating, and I got deactivated because of Checker. They uh, closed down in April 2020 because of everything going on, which you can understand that, and in most cases, you would assume Uber would find some other way to have background checks done. Well, it's sounding like that's not the case. Uh, at the same time, my annual background check took place, and that's the reason for my deactivation. Uh, thousands of drivers for Uber got caught up in this net. So, this is apparently a big thing. So, you thousands of drivers with your annual background checks, which I'm not going to lie, I didn't know that was a thing. I never had an annual background check. Um, maybe that's only if you've driven longer, but I, I had the one random background check and that was like three years ago uh, okay and uh, thousands of uber drivers got caught up in this net um cover did send a, de a deactivation letter for me i was technically deactivated but not officially deactivated i did nothing wrong uber customer service even told me this and then afterwards they told me you have to call Uber every day until they do something. I was literally in limbo for two months, not being able to drive, waiting for Checker to finally complete my background check that had been in pending status since April 10th, 2020. That is sickening. Here's what's mind blowing to me. Uber's customer service told him that. Now. Here's Uber's customer service team. I don't know how many of you guys know this, but this this they boost this 24-7 customer service team like it's so legendary and it's horrible. I've called them plenty of times. Uber customer service is an outsourced call center. Um, I can't remember where. I mean, I, I mean it's uh, it's not in the US, that's for sure. It's like India or somewhere really far away. And that's not a problem. What's a problem is these people, from what I've heard, get paid like nothing. They get paid like a few bucks an hour, and all they get is call scripts that basically say, if somebody calls in and asks about this, say this. And a lot of times, it's not updated information. Uh, there was one time I was calling about um, the referral program because we'd had drivers who were signing up with our referral code, 
and they were completing the rides and not getting paid out. But at the same time, we had other drivers who were completing the rides and were getting paid out. So I was calling to try and deal with it. And uh, the lady that answered basically told me, she said, oh, well, the referral program isn't in existence anymore. We closed it down because of, you know, pandemic. And I was like, okay, well, that's weird because we have drivers that have gotten paid out. So why are some drivers getting paid out and some drivers not? She's like, oh, that's just happening today because the program is getting shut down today. You know what happened? The very next day, I had drivers that were completing the referral program. So these people don't know really what they're talking about. And this is no diss or hit on them. This is what Uber's paying them to do. Uh, and they're not legit, not because of them, but again, because that's what Uber's paying them to do. They don't have updated information. They're, they're horrible. They're just not, and again, I wanna reiterate, I'm not saying that they are horrible. I'm saying that just, they're in a horrible situation. They've gotta to talk to a bunch of angry Uber drivers and people like me and they've got to answer these questions that they're just not equipped to answer. So <laughs> that customer service is going, hey, we can't help you. You have to call Uber Uber and you got to call them every day until they do something. That's wild. I'm honestly floored that they told him that. And having a background check take two months is even more insane. I've said this a hundred times. Ask any business owner, how long does it take for you to complete background checks on your employees? Not long, not long at all. It doesn't take two months. It doesn't take two weeks. It doesn't take a week. All right. Um, Uber drivers who are caught up in this, uh, who have been deactivated have to somehow get in contact with management, both in customer service side and their special quote unquote background check team. Make it clear to both sides, put dates in every email and keep following up. It took me literally two months of calling to finally get through to the right management team member. So if any of you are dealing with this, unfortunately it sounds like this is the best way to deal with it. Obviously, I think in this dude's case, uh, he didn't have Cover until recently. Um, my one fear is that Cover won't be able to help him because it's a pre-existing issue, but obviously we'll wait. I'm sure he'll write in again and let us know what happens. Please let us know what happens, Juan, if you see this video. Um, but yeah, that's crazy. I really hope there's not a lot of you dealing with, with that. He said, uh, co contacting Checker is the real joke. They kept on sending me redundant automated emails, two to three business days, um, and saying in the email that in two to three business days, his background check would be done. <laughs> a total of six months and two deactivations. Really? Um, I didn't know he got deactivated twice. That's crazy. How can they do this? I'm also enrolled in the ASU Diamond Uber program attending online college. They put my academic attempt to get a degree in peril. Without trips, Uber will not pay for my college, which I feel makes up for all the setbacks with Uber. Man. Oh, this, so this dude's really in a tough time because of this. That's horrible. I mean, now he's not even able to like do schooling. I also complained to ASU and they actually helped me notify Uber of the situation through their channels. I even emailed them a copy of a deactivation letter to further explain my situation. He is literally trying everything. I, um, uh, like explained earlier, my situation is unique. Um, blah, blah, blah. That's really all he's saying. But he said, what I can say in truth is that there is 100% thousands upon thousands of drivers who are getting caught up in this pending background check by Checker who closed down back in April 2020 because of the pandemic, which was confirmed by Uber support. I'm not sure if this will help anybody there. Please excuse my punctuation. Thanks again, Juan. That's a horrid story, man. I'd really really feel for that dude, especially with the, um, God, ex especially with the freaking schooling. Like that's just so sad. So I really hope a lot of you guys aren't dealing with that, but uh, this is a big reason why I think a lot of you guys should have Cover because in scenarios like this, you want to already be signed up with Cover. Like you want to already have their service. Um, it's, it's again, it's like I said in the one video a while back, it's kind of like insurance, you know, it's kind of like your, your insurance that there you are taken care of in scenarios like that. So 
Juan, uh, we're rooting for you, man. I really hope that you can at least get some money back from this whole thing, hopefully through Cover. Um, I trust that if they're able to help you, you're in good hands, and let's just hope this isn't happening to too many drivers, but I agree with you, man. It's probably happening to thousands. So if there are a lot of you that this is happening to, those are unfortunately the steps you're going to have to take. If you do have Cover, get them on it ASAP. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to like and subscribe. Um, stay safe out there and um, please check out Cover. Link in the description. First 30 days on us. That's what more can you ask for, right? All right, guys. I will talk to you all soon.